This program is brought to you by UCKG. It's happening in every neighborhood. Down every street. Sickness. Addiction. And violence has been turning countless homes into crime scenes. Suffering. Depressed. Alone. Suicidal. May God bless all of you in the name of Jesus. Welcome to your program, Problems and Solutions. This program that is made for you who are there on the other side suffering and you reach to a point that you don't know what to do with your life. You know, the doors of the Universal Church are open every single day and every day we receive people who are suffering and the lives of these people has been transformed. Lives of families has been restored. People that suffer with addictions, with depression, with insomnia, panic attacks. We have beef, different testimonies and different people who have been receiving the miracles of God. And I am telling you this for a reason. To tell you, my dear friend, that also you can receive your miracle. Also, you can find a solution of your problem. You can find a way out of your suffering. What you need to do is to give your step of faith. You know that uh, in the previous program I spoke about that, that sometimes a step of faith, people don't understand much what is that, but the step of faith is the most important step in life. And when you take that step ahead towards God, God is able to help you. You know that in life, we take a lot of decisions. If you are married, you took a decision one day to marry. If you are a foreigner and you are here in Sweden or any other country, you took a decision to go to that country. You took the decision of uh, what you're going to study. Even basically decisions of what we're going to wear, we take that decision. Every day we have to take decisions. But many times in your life you have been taking decisions regarding to your life now that... Uh, that decision just brought to you disappointment, just brought to you suffering, just brought to you pain. And many times you think that uh, this is your destiny, this is your cross, this is your karma. It's not, my dear friend. This is because you have been going unfortunately to the wrong direction. But if you turn to the right direction, that is God, surely that he has the power to help you. That's why the Lord Jesus said, come to me as you are. More than talking, I want to show you Testimonies of people that their lives has been transformed. People who have been arriving here and receive help. Stay with us. If you'd like to talk to us, you have below your screen our contact number. When I came to Britain from Namibia without knowing that it was God's journey, I didn't look for God. I was doing things on my own. That's when things start going wrong. My marriage started to suffer violence, abusive, physical violence, financial. We became very destitute, no money, no place to stay. We have young children in a foreign land, no family, and no one to tend to. I remember during one day we were fighting with my wife uh, in this country on the bus. I start beating her and no one saying anything. She bleed and people are just there looking. Then when we get out of the bus, we continue, we went home, then we came back. But after the storm, there's always that calm assurance voice saying that Ignatius, you've been doing this for a long time. You've been taking life in your own hand for a long time. What do you have to lose? Can't you give me a chance? When we arrive in the help center of the UCKG, 
I was standing and the man of God who was standing, speaking, giving the message from the altar, it's like he knew me from since I was 16. As we keep on coming, we've been, one word that's standing out is this, we believe in you. And God called you here for a reason. He has seen your suffering. Give it all to God. He's the master. He's your creator. He can make things happen. He can make the impossible to become possible. And for the first time in my life, tears start coming out of my eyes automatically. Then when we went home, although I was stuck up, I told my wife, you know what, darling? I think we find something that we've been looking for. There was one day we fought the whole night and we fought physically. Then at that time, I have simple job, just something to have a bread for the kids. I went to that rubbish job. When I came back, I realized that we had about six to seven suitcases. I found that two little suitcases, they, they, they disappear. And the children are not in that block. I start calling around, my wife's nowhere to be found. Around 7.30, my daughter called me from Heathrow Airport. Dad, then I said, time, where are you? Ah, at the airport, doing what at the airport? We are going home. What? Then I have to call the airport and report my wife to the security that there's a crazy woman running away with my kids. She had to be detained for several hours, waiting for me to go there and make a case. But at the same time, God was working. I did not make a case. I just stopped, I let them go. Then I, around that time, when I realized that by this time they, they gone, I went to my knees and I cried. God, I don't know what to do. I, I, I mess up big time. My wife took half of the money and she left half of the money. Around that time, there was an idea saying that, you know, she diss you the word in London. She disrespected you so much. You know what you can do, Ignatius? Take that money, buy a ticket, go to Namibia the same day, buy a gun, kill her, and come back the next. That's the voice of the enemy. But there was another voice, calm, saying, I've been telling you, I've been speaking to you, I've been advising you, why don't you try me? You have got nothing to lose. Then I took that voice, I listened to that voice, which is the voice of God. Then the next day, I call my wife. Normally when I call, we argue until she dropped the phone. That day, we never argue. I just ask, darling, when are you coming back? We make a vow to start together to fight against the invisible enemy, not to fight against ourselves as we used to do anymore. Life today for us is a blessing, and I can say it's a blessing, a blessing that have root on the altar. My marriage is a blessing. My wife is my sister, is my wife, is my mom, my grandma, my everything. Our children are very blessed. They grow up in London. They are doing well. Some of them, one of them is on the altar. And I believe there are some more to come because I'm not stopping praying. In terms of financial, we are blessed. We are living a comfortable life. I can say confidently, the altar cannot fail you. If you want more, the altar will give you even more than you expected. Just as God works with faith, the devil works with doubt. Doubt is the main weapon of hell to weaken and destabilize people all over the world. We are bombarded daily by voices that come at us from all sides, with most carrying that invisible poison of doubt. What we have observed is that those who drink from this poison offered by the kingdom of darkness end up becoming insecure and terrified, 
the voice to whom we give ear, will dictate our actions and reactions. The Japanese scientist and researcher Masaru Emoto, in one of his most intriguing experiments, proved that words have the power to physically influence everything that exists. Emoto placed three servings of cooked rice in three different glass beakers, then covered them with water. Every day he would say, thank you, I love you, to one of the beakers. I hate you, you were a fool, to the second one. And the third he ignored completely. After a month, the result was surprising. The rice that received the kind words began to ferment, giving off a pleasant aroma. The rice in the second beaker, which received the negative words, became completely dark and rotten. And the third one, which was ignored, began to mold. Surely, this is thought-provoking. If a word caused such an effect with rice, can you imagine what this can do within a person? This is why we often see so many people overwhelmed by panic and fear, all because of a word they heard in one moment. Is it possible for a person to have peace when they have doubts? The only formula capable of shielding your faith is not listening to what might weaken you. Instead, feed yourself with the word that comes from God, as this generates certainty, conviction and strength. Consequently, even when facing a difficult period, you will not be shaken because this will sustain you in any situation. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Only those who are in him will overcome like he did. From now on, give ear more to the voice of faith, because while the others pull you down, this one lifts you up. I came here to the Hope Center about a year ago. Has been a great blessing to me because when I came here, I was very sick. I could hardly even come one day a week. So from one day a week, I came two days a week, and then I enjoyed it. And then I started to come three days a week gradually as my strength was getting better and better. And now I came almost every day. So I more or less knew the help center was here, but I was just not ready to come. But when I, was, I got desperate, I came. I knew I needed some particular deliverance and I was fighting with it uh, actually in other church and I knew there was some particular things that I need to work on. But um, here I find it help. If you are suffering, for example, with depression, I, I used to have my phases up and down, up and down, you know. I find it that I have been feeling much better. Or if you are feeling sick, like I was saying, that I was very sick. I didn't know what was happening. The doctors was not giving me much answer and the medication they was giving was just making me living like a zombie. So you're there like a zombie, uh, not living. Come around, I think that will be a great, for help, great help for you like it has been for me. If you want our help, we are here available to help you. Every single day, the doors of the Universal Church are open. If you want to know more about our ministry, more, you can visit our website, uckg.se, www, as you can see below your screen, www.uckg.se. And there you're going to have more information about us. We'll be here to pray for you, to help you. At the Birgit has got 106, we are very close to the Tunobana, Tecnisca. Also, we have our branch in Otterburg at the Ringing Garden 13 in Fart 7, 11 o'clock on Sundays. We have this powerful service, okay? Give your step of faith and surely that your life will be transformed. You know, my dear friend, if you'd like to continue talking to us, you have our telephone number, our contact number for any question in doubt. And tomorrow we'll be back with another program, Problems and Solutions. Have a good night. in this hospital until I know what's wrong with my daughter. If you want out, that's fine with me.
This program is brought to you by UCKG.